Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga Max with me, Max. Uh, today we're going to be doing and demonstrating the most common of all yoga poses that even if you've never heard of yoga, you would have heard of downward facing dog. So we're going to go jump into down dog. Down dog's really good for oh, many things. <laughs> um, opening up the shoulders, lengthening the spine. That's the, that's the basic benefit of this pose. Um, softening the hamstrings and behind the knees. Um, if you do vinyasa yoga, uh, this will be a pose that you're coming to many, many, many times. Stay tuned for the end of the video where um, we'll be going through common issues with down dog and there are many because we've all got different bodies. Uh, you'll be meeting my very trusty guinea pig of a husband who is a pro at common issues in yoga poses. So that should be a laugh. Stay tuned for that and um, let's get into down dog. So downward facing dog. Two things, well, many things, but firstly, we normally get into down dog from a cat-cow position. So if we go through cat-cow and we stack our joints as we did previously, wrist in line with shoulders, knees in line with hips, you want to start to press down through your thumb and index knuckle of your hand. This area right here, you'll notice that if you're a beginner, doing yoga for a, quite a while you're gonna have sore wrists you're gonna have compression in your wrists it's something that's gonna happen until you build your forearm muscle and the way to build your forearm muscle is to start to not press into the heel of your hand which compresses the wrist but start to press down through your knuckles but mostly through the thumb and the index knuckles of your hands as you spread out and that just lifts the muscle off the bone. So, cat cow, tucking the toes under. Very common issue, which we'll show you later with my guinea pig, um, is to leave the weight on your shoulders. Once the knees lift off the ground, you want to push without actually moving your hands, your hands towards the front of the mat, and your bum or your tailbone is lifting up up to the corner at the other end of the room. So as you breathe in, you tuck the toes, the bum pushes towards the back of the room, hands push to the front part of the mat and opening up through the, the back of the legs. Now you'll see in a little bit, this is rarely what happens with beginners, but this is very good for stretching out the spine, especially if you're gripping through the thumb knuckles of your hands. And as well, stretching or softening behind the backs of the knees. Another common, very big issue that people have is they rotate shoulders inward. So once you tuck the toes and you lift the hips, that starts to happen an inward rotation, which I'll show you later with my guinea pig. Um, but what you really want to do is wrap the shoulders round your armpits to loosen up your head so that your ears are away from your shoulders and you start to anchor through these serratus muscles. They're called your serratus anterior instead of these muscles, which already are tense, overworked, pushing forward. So that's the basis of down dog. Now, one pose does not fit all. Many people will not be able to straighten their knees. The fundamental place that you want to get right in down dog is your spine must be straight. So you'll see, someone comes into down dog, they don't have that space at the back of their legs, which is fine, because we'll get there. But what happens is they try to straighten their knees and then whoop, the spine curves not a healthy spine, can't breathe properly, shoulders close to my ears. So what we want is to bend the knees and then start to lengthen the spine back. And now you're open, open through the shoulders, easy head and neck, thumb knuckles pressing down through the center of the mat. 
And that's your down dog. So it's not going to look different for every person, but that's your down dog. So as I said, I would introduce you to my husband, aka my guinea pig, who is the king of unaligned yoga poses. So he's the perfect guinea pig. Um, and we're talking about down dog and how one size doesn't fit all. So you saw me getting into down dog. I've got more space at the back of my legs. Um, this is more of a, you know, with a normal person who hasn't done much yoga, this is what their down dog will look like. And this is what some of the things, these will be some of the things that they would kind of have issues with. And I'll see how, I'll show you how very, very simply we can just correct them. So if you would be ever so kind as to come into tabletop, <coughs> aligning the knees in line with your hips, wrists in line with your shoulders, making sure you're not sinking into the shoulder blades but you're breathing up and opening them out, tucking the toes under, and coming into your down dog. Now, as you can see, he's been taught by me a little bit, so <laughs> he bends his knees. You could see that I didn't bend my knees because my spine stayed straight when my knees were straight. Spine is super straight. Shoulders are nice and open, freeing up the head to be loose. But if Julian here would straighten his knees, what would happen to his spine? Everything tucks, his head, his head tucks under. All of a sudden, as soon as you slightly bend the knees, tilt the tailbone up and let the head relax, then he's in the proper alignment that you want for a down dog. So this is one of the problems that happens with people who just don't have that hamstring um, space. It doesn't mean you have to go into the last version of the pose. It means you need to adjust because one pose doesn't fit all. If the ankles start to hurt, you can pop blocks underneath your ankles and rest down on them. And what you really want to do is lift off the hips. Push away from the mat so that the hips are moving towards the corners of the mat. Press down through the thumb and the index knuckle. And then the spine is nice and straight. And as I said in the previous um, video, main thing you want in a down dog is a nice straight spine and there you go so if you found this video helpful in any way um, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and if you've got any questions or queries just i love hearing from you so just scroll right down to the bottom and you'll find the comment section right there um, other than that thank you so much for watching